New at 6, an Oviedo couple says they're being singled out by their HOA in a battle over a tree. The HOA wants them to put a large tree in their front yard to replace the one they removed. But they say there's only two feet of space to plant it. And they told Channel 9's Janine Reyes they learned once before that the large trees the HOA wants grow too big. That original tree was just too close to the Baines home. In fact, the roots grew into the ground here, cracking the foundation, causing flooding. And while it looks like they have plenty of space out here to plant a new tree, turns out underground, they don't. These orange and red markings show the utility lines underground at Christopher Baines home. We have the, the sub panel for the electrical feeding this whole section of the community. After he bought his house, this tree caused trouble. We were starting to get water into our family, our front family room in the front okay. of the house. He removed it and told his HOA he'd replace it. But with nowhere to grow on this side, he's left with only the yard on the other side of his home. Underground lines there leave him two feet to plant a large tree. If I were to plant that tree in the center of two foot, as soon as that tree grew more than a foot in diameter, I would be either violating another HOA covenant or city, state, and federal ordinances. Bain shared his research with the Chapman Groves HOA, who denied him, but others in Chapman Groves are lacking large trees too. The board president would not discuss the tree troubles, referring us to Pinnacle Property Management, who has not returned our calls, which leaves Christopher torn. Do you ever think you'd have this much fighting over a tree? I, I did not, honestly. Over a tree. They just... They didn't take anything really into consideration. They just still want a two and a half inch tree planted in the front yard without any regard to the damage it's going to cause to a utility, the violations it's going to cause to the city, state, and federal codes, or the damage that's going to cause to my home. Bain did call the city to see if they'd intervene. They told him they could not because this is an HOA issue. He's not too sure that'd be too helpful, though, because the president of the HOA, who's also his neighbor, happens to be married to the mayor. Reporting in Oviedo, Janine Reyes, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Uh -huh. We also reviewed the covenants and restrictions of the HOA, and the guidelines do not call for a large tree in front of homes. But it does give the HOA full discretion on landscaping changes. Tonight